Hello viewers, welcome back. So this is part four of our series of session on tally data management playlist. In the last couple of sessions, we learned how we can export tally reports and registers from tally to third party application. In the last session, we saw how you can use the XML feature of tally to export masters and tally transactions or vouchers from one tally company to another tally company. Today, we will also understand a very important aspect of changing your company's data to the next financial year or closing your current financial year to next financial year. There are a couple of ways where you can use any of this method which Tally allows the user to move from the existing financial year to the next financial year. Let us go to Tally and explore these options and find out how we can move the current financial year data to the next financial year as opening balance, especially the balance sheet figures, and how you can continue using Tally data for the subsequent financial years. Let us now assume that you have completed this financial year 21-22 and now you have to start capturing data for the subsequent financial year which is 22-23. So we are in the same company. Now you are moving to the subsequent financial year. How are we going to transition to the next financial year? A very simple way to transition or move to the next financial year is just by changing the date. So how do we do that? All you need to do is press Alt F2 and here you specify the subsequent financial year period which is A for April 22, enter and March M for March 23 and enter. So now we are in the subsequent financial year. If you notice here, you see the current period is now changed to April to March. So once you change the period, all you need to do is start capturing the vouchers. The moment you save the first voucher in this current period, next time when you open this company, Tally will always open with the current period or the current financial year. So we have changed this financial year and let's assume that you have not passed any entry and if you close this company, I'm going to close this company, control F3 and when I press enter, the company is closed and next time when you are going to select the company, it will again come back to the previous financial year because we have not captured any data in the subsequent financial year. So let's again change the period and start capturing the transaction. So I'm going to press Alt F2, A22, Enter, M23, Enter. So we are now in the subsequent financial year. Let us make a voucher entry. So I'm going to go to voucher, V for voucher and you will see the date as 1st of April 22. So enter and let's just make a simple payment entry of 100 rupees towards conveyance. Cash enter. And we have saved this voucher. Now let's come back to Gateway of Tally. Close this company. Control F3. Enter. The company is closed. Next time, whenever you are opening this company, you will now see the current period is changed to the subsequent financial year. So this way, in a very simple manner, in the same tally data folder, you can have multiple years financial data. Tally will automatically carry forward your previous year's balance sheet figures as opening balance for the current financial year. So you don't have to pass any opening entry 
in this case. And the best part is while you are finalizing your books of account and if there are any changes that have been incorporated in the previous financial year, your balance sheet figure is going to change and you really don't have to worry about the updation of the balances in the current financial year because Tally will automatically update the corrected balance or modified balance of the previous year figures in the balance sheet to the current financial year. Important thing to keep in mind here is that I have seen some of them uh, when they want to go to the next financial year, they make a major blunder of going to the company information. They go to the altar and here what they do is they go and enter the date as April 22. The moment you do this, you are actually going to get a warning from Tally which says data entered before this date will be lost. Shall I continue? Right. So normally people would not you know, read this information. They just press enter. Okay. But again, Tally is warning you for the second time. There will be a data loss. Are you sure you want to proceed when you press enter? Now, what would happen is that since you are specifying the financial year beginning from is 1-4-2022, all your data, if you see in this company, there are two years data, 2021-21-22, all that information will be lost. So we have to be very careful, never go and change the period in the company alteration screen. So I'm going to just press escape. Now you can start capturing the data for the current financial year. This is one way of moving to the subsequent financial year. Now the other way of moving to the subsequent financial year is let us assume you don't want previous year data in the same company since the previous year data is finalized. So you want to just put them away and keep it safely at the same time. You want your closing balances of your balance sheet figure to be carried over to the subsequent financial year. So in this case, the second option that you have is that you can split the data. Tally will split the data and it will automatically create a new company for the subsequent financial year along with all the masters and at the same time, it will carry the closing balances of the previous year as opening balance in the new company. So let us see how we can move to the next financial year with this option. So what we are going to do here, this company, we are now going to split the data, create a new company for the subsequent financial year. So how do we do this? So let me just quickly delete this voucher and convert this to the previous financial year. So I go to display day book. The voucher is already selected. Alt D enter. The voucher is now deleted. So once you close this company and subsequently when you are selecting the company, you will now notice the current period is changed to 21, 22. So now we are going to split the data. Click on data. And here we have this option called split. So when you select the split, you have two options. So before you split the data, you can verify the data where Tally is going to verify your data. And in case if there are any error in the data, Tally is going to identify and it will give you the list of vouchers where there is a mismatch or error which you need to rectify them before you split the data. So it is always advisable that before you split the data, you verify the data because without verifying the data, if you are splitting the data, again Tally is going to internally verify and then the split operation would be terminated. So we are going to select verify data. Now this is the company that we want to verify the data before we split enter. Now it's asking you, do you want to accept enter? Now Tally is verifying the data. Notice here, this data has no errors. So now we are ready to split the data. So escape again, go to data, select split and 
split the data. While splitting the data, Tally ensures that no damage happens to your original data. So what Tally does is it will take your original data. From that data, Tally is going to create two companies. One company is for your previous year data and another company it creates for the subsequent year, which is your next financial year by transferring all the masters to the new financial year and also the closing balance as opening balance. So that way, even while splitting the data due to some reason, if there is any power surge or if the system goes off, your original data will be intact and the data is safe. So if you see here, we have this company potential solution. Now you will have two companies where Tally is going to take the data from here, create a company for previous two years. We saw there are two years data here and it will create another company with the new financial year information. So we go to data, split, select split. Now here is where you have to specify from what date you want to split. Enter here. Now we want to split the data for the subsequent financial year. So we are going to say 1st April 22. And you will also notice here the following companies will be created. Name of the first company will be Potential Solutions from 1st of April. This is this beginning of the financial year for this company. And the second company that Tally is going to create is Potential Solutions from 1st of April, which is the new financial year enter and accept now tally is again asking you that do you want to now split the data so all you need to do is just press y for s and tally is now checking the balance and it is now splitting the data so if you see the new financial year which is potential solutions from 1st april 2022 is active so that's going to be your new company for the subsequent financial year and you have this company which has got two years data starting from 1st of april 20 and your original company is still intact so all you now you have to do is that you can now take these two companies save it in a different folder and remove this company from the default data folder so that every time when you are selecting the company, these companies are not getting listed. And you can rename this company as Potential Solutions. I hope this very two simple method of moving from current financial year to the subsequent financial year we have seen. And it is so easy and simple for you to move to the subsequent financial year without recreating the company and recreating the masters and other things. So thank you all once again for staying till the end. See you all in the next session. Thank you very much.